Hey, 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 welcome to our channel, Tea Girl Magic Tarot. <laughs> Do a reading for, you know, my J -J Geminis, my Geminis. What's going on, Gemini, my superstars? Yes, you are. Sending you an abundance of love, light, healing vibes. If you're having a bad day, I'm sending that for you to get it better, okay? This is your perception. So just change it around and flip it, okay? Whoever made you mad, just brush that shit up. I know it's easier said than done, okay? Because Gemini, y'all got tempers too, okay? I think all air signs have tempers. Jesus, woo! Anyway, um, yeah. Yeah, because you're too blessed and highly favored, okay? Take a deep breath. Don't let these fake bitches fucking fuck shit up for you, Gemini, okay? But they're not going to, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, thank you, Gemini, for all your continued, your love, support, your healing vibes, like everything, Gemini, your donations, your emails, your everything. Like, y'all keep me booked and busy, okay? Um, thank you for my members only, okay? The subscribers to the members only. You guys are the bomb.com. I, um, I try to put the juiciest, juiciest, only juicy. The, this, this one I'm about to upload, or the last one, it's pretty juicy. Anyway, um, so if you guys haven't made it over there... It's $9.99 a month. You guys can join and get uh, uh, get all the extended when I do the extendeds. And then pretty much all the readings that I don't post on the regular Gemini channel, okay? Those are more juicier and stuff like that, okay? Um, yeah. And anyway, choir, come to the front. Come to the front. <clears throat> One, two, three. Oh, T-Girl, Tarot. Magic and collective, tea girl, tea girl, tea girl, magic and collective, tea girl, tarot, magic and collective, come check us out and see what we're about, about, we are Gemini, 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 we sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Yay! Give the choir a round of applause. This is why we sing before the beginning of all because we don't never know who mood is what mood is in. You can always tell those nitty nilly natty sad ass people that don't sing. Okay, well, bitch, then goodbye. But we raise that means they're not supposed to be here. Okay, how did you get here? You're not supposed to be here. Okay, <laughs> oh, somebody said you. Ooh, okay, Gemini. Wait a minute, I'm picking up so many mixed energies. Um, did some of you guys before I get into the just take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. It's not going to fit with everybody, okay? If you want a personal reading, hit me up first. Don't send the money because you're sending me a donation, okay? Because I clearly stated in the instructions to contact me, reach out, and wait for my confirmation, and then you send the payment, okay? I will never reach out and ask for payments or readings or anything like that. I appreciate you guys' excitement, though, when you do send me the payment, but please, please, you guys, Contact me first via email. Get a confirmation from me that I have received your email because I have so many emails and so many different cash apps. It's like, and, and donations as well. So you just can't send me um, money and then not tell me what it's for. You know what I mean? Even if it's for a reading and I didn't confirm it, that have to fit you into the scheduling, okay? So anyway, no pun intended. I love each and every one of you. I know you're excited. I'm excited with you, okay? I'm here to help you guys learn, grow, heal, and evolve. So it's okay, but I just need you guys to follow instructions first, okay? That's a part of having cooth and self-discipline, right? Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> Some of y'all got a new beginning. I kept hearing that song. How did you get here? Mm -mm. Nobody's supposed to be here. I tried that love thing for the last time. My heart says no, no. Okay, damn, Gemini. Did somebody, you know what? Gemini, somebody then came into your life that you're rejecting. Okay, you're like, bitch, how did you get here? You're not even supposed to be here because I said, and I keep telling y'all, it don't matter what the fuck y'all say, God say it. Okay, when he say it, that's what it goes. Should he say there let, there, let there be light, and there was light. It ain't nothing you all can do about it. 
So anyway, there was the uh, fire Yang card that let me know there's a new beginning as I heard that song by Deborah Cox. Shout out to Deborah Cox. Hey girl. Um, they're not you didn't expect this person. This person kept like took you off guard. Okay? Or for others of y'all, how did you get here? Somebody that showed up at your damn doorstep, Jim and I, and you said my heart says no no. Okay. <laughs> Okay, for some of y'all, y'all met new love. You threw you off a little bit. I kept, I, I told y'all y'all was going to meet somebody and they catch you off guard and you was going to be guarding the defensive and get against them. And it's like, no, 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 no. But it's yes, 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 yes for those that have done the work. But you still have work to do if you push in away the love, okay? And then for others of you, Gemini, high vibe, low vibe, you guys are like, bitch, how did you get here? You're not even supposed to be here. Nigga, we tried this shit for the last time, male or female, okay? <laughs> But they coming back to build, bitch. <laughs> That's not funny, but it is. Because <laughs> they out to sea. <laughs> They've been out to sea, child. They've been out and about. And they see you in your new life. They want to come to your house and give you this new life. So that's what I'm picking up, too. So, you guys, it's going to be okay about the new love, okay? Take it one step at a time. One day at a time, one moment. No expectations. Just expect forward movement as far as you're concerned, okay? Don't try to dictate the relationship. Don't try to put, you know, just let it be, let it flow, let it go. Trust divine and divine will order thy steps as he ordered all of our steps, okay? Um, so even if you feel that you may not want this, if God wants you with this person, bitches, y'all gonna be with this person regardless if you say that you want to be with him or not, okay? Um, we all do the will of God, which his will is our will. And that's part of the free will that we think that we doing something, but we not because God already willed it for us to do it, okay? That's how wonderful and powerful God is. Don't start to play with God. Because if y'all got free will like that, hold your breath for fucking five minutes. And we'll give you a million dollars. Where's your free will? Okay. What for your free will to swim when you can't swim in the middle of the ocean when you got rip tides ripping? What about the fucking sinking sand? What about these car accidents and heart attacks? And these, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And we say God is in control. Oh, shit. But, but are, you, are you not believing that he's in control? Are you just saying that from the side of your neck? Because that sounds good to say. Because you know God is in control. Because you really do. Because the way, because some of y'all life ain't the way you really, really wanted to. And God will show you who the fuck is in control. And when you relinquish your power to the divine. To let him know that you surrender to his will. Then things start taking off wonderfully. And you're not, see? And you're not even resisting. But once you resist... Fucking shit goes down, okay? It becomes harder. I mean, you're, you're swimming upstream and you're resisting the will of God, okay? I don't care what anybody... I have, I have. Well, you can, you, you have that in a, in a sense. That I, I, I know where you're coming from when you say that, but you really don't, okay? I've got to keep it so 100. I, I don't care who like it, who don't. I don't care. I'm not a people pleaser. I don't care about what people think, say, what their opinions are. It's about what God says, Okay? Anyway, angels, ancestors, what's going on with Gemini's energy? Yeah, Gemini, you being flexible. I told you, you said a lot of you are being flexible and you're really happy in a wonderful place because you know the truth, okay? Things, you're, you release energy, okay? You're letting love in. You're, you're clearing out the old energy to accept the new energy. And this right here, babies and girls, is making you so effing happy because all because you were being flexible, you made a change. I'm going to make a change for the rest of my life. Okay, Michael Jackson, I don't know. I'm a, I don't, because I've seen Oprah Winfrey's the Neverland thing. So I, I, I'm going to hold my breath on that one, okay? Just RIP Michael Jackson, okay? But anyway, Jim and I, um, this person that's trying to come back that you saying, hell no, no, no. So there, somebody's trying to come in and disturb your peace, Jim and I. They are. You're going to get a message in a bottle. Oh, my God. You're getting a message in a bottle. This person lives a distance from you. They could live near a body of water. They could live near a beach. Okay? They could live near the Caribbeans. They can live in damn near. Yeah, the Caribbean islands, like somewhere near the water, Hawaii, Africa, um, Thailand, Bali, China, Malaysia, you know, the Virgin Islands. Yep. Colombia, I'm hearing as well. Hey, Colombia. Hey, what's up, Boricuas? Dominican Republic, okay? But whoever is in your energy, yes, definitely Dominican Republic. Um, 
they're going through chaos and conflict right now. This person that's, my heart says no, no, or you're not supposed to be here because this person's a big ass ball of conflict. Okay. And this is a never ending event with this person. This person is a looper. Okay. They're always, they're caught up in hell, their own loop of hell. This person always is around conflict and chaos. They're unsure of who they are. They're a people pleaser. They're always worried about the opinions of other people versus their own opinion. They never go within. They don't. They don't go within. They don't meditate. They're not flexible. They like to lie. They're not an open book. But they see you growing, healing, learning, and evolving. This is all your energy up here. Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. And you're connecting with spirit as well. And spirit is giving you downloads. They're telling you that this new love is going to make you happy. You just have to be flexible. I'm talking about the new love for the high vibes. And then we're going to get back into crusty, woundy, trying to how did you get here. But for the new loves... You guys are, in, it's okay. Because you're scared that it's going to be around. Here we go again. And you're scared it's going to be conflict and chaos. But spirit says, no, this is your loyal heart. This person is going to be the complete opposite of how did you get here? Nobody's supposed to be here. Okay. And spirit said, that's the truth. It's the truth be told. You just got to open up your heart and be flexible. And then the happiness is here because you already are happy. Spirit is trying to give you an addition to your happiness, you have been wounded, you have been abused, you have been lied to, you have been mistreated unfairly. And divine is trying to give you this loyal heart, which for a lot of you that have done the work have given you a loyal heart. Okay, let me just tell you, if you don't have it in your life right now is because honestly, you're not, you're not putting in enough belief or you're worrying about it too much. You're not letting it go. There's too much. You're not flexible. You're being conflict and chaos. You're caught up and trapped up in your mind. You're going around and around and around and around and around in your head. When is he going to come? When is he going to come? When is he going to come? I've been waiting so long. I've been looking to and fro. I've been breathing. And I've been going through my speedy chill. Okay, Spirit was like, first of all, I'm going to need you to calm down. Your soulmate's coming, but you still need to do shit by the book. For those of those that have not had that happen yet, you haven't gone the distance. And so you need to go the distance, whatever that may be to you. You got to let go and let God at that point. And what does that mean? Stop worrying when the motherfucker going to come. Okay, stop being afraid of everybody that come your way if they want. You know what I mean? Just observe them. Spirit said, you ain't got to link up with him immediately. Just observe, sit back and look. What's done in the dark always comes to the light, okay? You know one man, you know them all. Open up your mouth, just listen to him. Sit back and observe what he's saying, what this person's saying. You're going to see all their secrets that they may try to hide, if they try to hide any from you. But Spirit said this one is going to be different. This one's going to be flexible. They're going to be willing to work with you. They want to work with you. They think you're a fucking peach, okay? They think you're so juicy, and I'm not picking up the um, high vibe. You have not laid down with this person yet because you're still trying to figure it out. You're still trying to see where this person is trying to come from. You're trying to make sure that you got your T's crossed and your I's dotted. Now, the lower vibe, you probably have slept with this person. And that's why you jittery and shit and all. Oh, my God, what's going on? I, thought, I don't know. What? I, I, I. Yeah, and here you go again, around and around and around because you just refuse to be fucking flexible because you just want to be so hot in the pants to get somebody, to have anybody, when the love that you're looking for is already within. So start exercising that love. So spirits say, I'm going to need you to take two steps, baby girls and baby boys. Take a deep breath and calm down. <laughs> Seriously. And then you're going to be able to go the distance once you do all the work because you still have work to do. So if the person's not here, it's because you still have work to do. And then the new yang energy will come, okay? Because I know y'all about to ready to release. Look, don't be trying to get into a new relationship for no sex and shit. Spirit said, you got to clean up your energy first before he allows any divine being to come into your path. Because just like how the other person, woundy, crusty, sleepy, mistreated, and used you, and they was a big-ass ball of conflict and chaos everywhere, spirit is not going to treat this other divine being that's already happy in this energy, that's flexible. They're really, they went through the same things. You guys mirrored each other. Okay, so you guys need to be more open minded. There is an age difference, race difference between height difference. But you guys, yeah, there is a, a race difference. So this is an interracial thing. Okay. Oh, Lord. And then. Okay, so let me before I get to because a woomy trying to come out. Lord have mercy. But anyway. um, So for this new love, it's it's here. 
Okay, and you because you guys have done the work and you've called in your soulmate, and that's the truth be told. It is because you had a complete transformation and you did shit by the book to get this soulmate. 11, 11. Okay, 35, 7, perfection. Okay, because you meditated, you're calm, you're relaxed. You know you can't manifest all, all in conflict and chaos energy. You know that, right? You have to be flexible. You have to be grounded. You have to manifest from your heart chakra. Okay, you see how this person's heart chakra is lit up? And spirits say, I am telling the truth. Okay, see the hearts and they'll open up their heart. You got to do that in order for this loyal heart to fly through. Okay? and But you got to clean some shit up. You got to clean up some of this fucking ruckusness that you got going on right now. I know a lot of y'all are like, well, why? Well, I, and, then, and then let me just tell you, this energy that's coming back, how did you get here? Some of y'all say, why the fuck are you here on my... T some of y'all going to call the police on this person. You will. But this person coming back to you in your energy... They want to know why it didn't work out. Why can't they be flexible? How come you change and they weren't able to change? You know what I mean? How come you were able to clean things up and then your life is all beautiful, pretty, zen, you're happy, you're breathing, you're meditating. And they want to know how come their life is motherfucking chaotic and fucking because God say clean, they haven't cleaned it up. They haven't, they're not flexible and they're just a ball a loop of, spirit is also letting you know that whoever is coming into your energy, not the new, new, but the old, old, that this person is definitely not for you because you did have a glow up. You had a level up. You play chess now versus checkers. So your game is on fleek. Your intuition's on fleek. See, here's your, in you had a, you went from the dark into the light and now you're a beautiful ass flamingo. Um, some of you have beautiful long legs, tall, all you guys are models. Yeah. And because you did things by the book, and now spirit has put you in this poised position. Yeah, he put you in a beautiful poised position. I love it. And what else, angels? Yeah, there's been a change in the wind. You're now at peace. Soon as you have that transformation in your glow up, because you understand energy and how energy works and moves, you understand God, you understand the relationship, you understand how shit works. So now there's been a change in the wind. You have went from conflict to chaos into peace. But this person, they're, they're, there's a change in the wind in their life. And they're headed towards you because you are in a Zen energy and you are at peace. And they are in conflict and chaos. They're a big ball of fucking, they running from something. They running from something. Okay, this person is a runner. What does pop, pop up behind it? Yeah, they feeling left out. They trying to rejuvenate. They're trying to rejuvenate, but spirit says you went the distance to have a regeneration. You're a whole, yeah, you, you went through it. And now, yeah, you're balanced. Could be dealing with a Libra. But this person wants to come back and balance out the scales with you and make things fair. But I don't know how they're going to make things fair when they so, they so, they so lack. That's all I can say. Spirit say, yeah, they are. And it's time for you to go. Okay, that's why when the, when the, when that person show up or call or whatever, it, you're going to be like, yeah, I can't do it. I, it's time to go. It's time to go. And y'all going to run away from this motherfucker. Okay, because, you know, deeply knowing that if you interrupt, you know, the flow of this peace, it's going to be conflict and chaos. And spirits say, honey, it's time for you to lay this relationship down to rest. And it's time for you to come to the edge and get your treasure island, your new love. Okay, release the old love so you can get the new energy in. Come to the edge. Don't be afraid. Do something different that you're not used to normally doing, okay? I think that's what the retrograde brings in too. How are you going to handle things differently from the last time that you handled them? Are you going to keep being repetitive, doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again and not getting it and not getting a result, nothing but conflict and chaos, but you expect some type of zen energy? Spirit say no, it's time for a nap. Okay, spirits say deep down inside, y'all got to let some shit go, whether it be your ego that you have to let go. Okay, and then go the distance. Okay, because a lot of stuff holding us back is ourselves and our ego because we're afraid of certain things. But yeah, but spirits say once you let that go, you're going to go into Treasure Island. You probably are already there now is why this person wants to come back. But to remain in this Treasure Island and remain blessed and highly favored, you're going to have to put in some work, hun. Okay, you're going to have to put in some work. What else, spirit? Yep, next person wants to come back and co-create because they see you're in a yin energy. You're peaceful. You're exchanging gifts. You're co-creating with God. 
Yeah, and that's what it is. And that's why this person wants to come back and co-create with you because you're regenerating a brand new life in this yin energy, this beautiful yin energy. You're balancing out your scales. To be fair, you're gaining wisdom and knowledge. You guys are going to school, a lot of you. You guys are about to graduate. I'm picking up graduation heavy. Congratulations for those of you getting ready to graduate. Yeah, you're about to start a brand new life, but you got to be flexible, though, in the beginning, okay? Just because you went to school, don't make you, don't, you got to have to put in the work still, start from the bottom to the top, okay? Spirit is saying, you're starting to co-create, okay? You're going to have to come to the, you're going to have to come to the edge and probably do some things at the job. But when I say, like, you know, because you got your degree, you finished school, you feel that you should just be there, but the company's going to start you from the bottom to the top because they want to see what you work, they want to see what you're made of, Okay? Yeah, they're gonna they wanna see what you made of. So they might be a little hard on you at first. And you be like, bitch, I didn't I, I wasn't hired for this. But spirits say, be flexible. Be flexible, okay? Because you do have you there's there, yeah, there's an exchange of gifts coming at this job. Okay, this job is going to pay well, it's going to give you financial security. You will be happy in this job though, once you get the, the knowledge and the information. Once you observe and learn everything that you need to learn as far as your job description is concerned, then things will be much more easier. As long as you're being flexible and not in your ego, talking about, well, I got my degree and I need to be doing this. Spirit was like, calm down. I'm going to need you to calm down and come to the edge and you need to regenerate and you need to clean up some shit. You are winning. Yes, you are, but you got to balance it out, okay? For you to be where you got to know. You got to know when to hold them and when to fold them. And what else, Spirit? What else? Fork in the road. So that this person's coming back to you because they're in a fork in the road right now. They're, they they want to be flexible now because they've been observing you co-creating. They've been seeing you live this yin, zen, happy, fair, balanced life. They see you winning. You're on top now. You've elevated your game. They see you being very wise. Okay. They see you being um some type of healer. You're gaining some type of wisdom, some type of spiritual knowledge. And they want to come. Oh my God, this is a fake bitch. Mm, they, this is your false twin. This is your false twin. And that's why you was like, well, how did you get here? I, I let your ass go. But they're not letting you go is the problem. But that's okay. Divine's gonna, you know what I feel? Yeah, they want to come and mend things with you because they feel like they're running out of time. But I feel like Divine's gonna cause some type of... um obstacle or give you some more time to move forward because this person is holding on to you so long so i don't know if he's going to send them away somewhere or literally take them out of the flesh i don't know okay i'm not trying to wish that but um yeah they want to marry you they're 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 obsessed with you gemini oh my god and this doesn't make any sense that's how you know this person is crazy if they're so obsessed with you why do they treat you the way that they treat you why do they do you the way that they did you because this person is nothing but a liar a con man, a deceiver, a manipulator. Yeah, they lied you to you about, they be lying about to everybody about going into a soulmate. You my soulmate, you my soulmate. This is what they're going to go, coming in, coming in, lying. You my soulmate, you my soulmate. Coming to lie to you, but they leave another shit behind so they possibly still attach to somebody else with their lying self. They always lie. Mm. Yeah, what else, spirit? Yeah, they're going to try to make an offer. Page Cups. Mama, Papa, I sorry. I want to come to the edge and regenerate and co-create with you. Even though I'm chaotic, even though I don't know who I am, and even though I know I'm childlike, I still want to put in the work and teamwork with you. Because you're the Queen of Wands. You are manifesting your best life right now. Yeah. Yes, you are. And this person thinks you're using magic, but you ain't using magic, honey. Oh, they thinking you looking into a book, honey. They thinking you, yeah, they think, mm-mm. But that's not how you did it, though. Yeah, that's not how you did it. And Spirit's telling me that this person's doing magic. So the person that's coming back to you, Gemini, the person that's coming back to you, they are doing magic. They're doing black magic to see if, your shit's falling if they can cause some conflict and chaos in your energy. So they're studying. They're going to some type of black book, blue book, whatever book, red book, some demonic book, okay, to stop your flow, stop your success. But you keep on regenerating because you're a warrior, honey. You just keep coming to the edge. You're manifest. You know why they can't stop you? Because you're manifesting with your heart chakra. Your heart is open, okay? You cannot manifest with blockages, 
where is the uh well y'all seen the owl with the window and all that shit so anyway your heart is wide open gemini and um that's how you manifest is with your heart chakra and what else angel so from body from your past what else and they have gotten rid of somebody from their past too it could be a king of pentacles energy a king of pentacles really been doing magic on you like that that bitch anyway um this king of pentacles somebody from their past yeah they kicked out somebody from their past because they found out that whoever they were with this king of pentacles they were doing magic on them oh yeah they were doing magic on them in secret mm -hmm. wow and what else angels hold on let me get these cards they flip at you each way so angels what else about this king yeah so this king of pentacles, okay, so there are two different energies, maybe. I don't know. All they pick up these two, Gemini, the dual, duality. Okay, so you got possibly two, not for everybody, but this king of pentacles is possibly your soulmate as well. But you do have a new energy. Angels, is this king of pentacles the new energy or the old energy? Oh, you're king of cups. You got a king. So this king of pentacles is the king of cups, and they do want a family situation with you because they're looking at you as soulmate. They see you being happy. They're very passionate about you. They just want it brand new with you. Okay, and then what else, angels? Yeah, your emperor. This is your emperor. Your emperor showed up. Your king of pentacles is your emperor. King of cups, king of wands. Oh, I don't know if king of wands came out, but this is a marriage. Okay, your king of pentacles, this is it. Okay, it's going to be forward movement. It's going to be happy and successful. So, yeah, don't be afraid, Gemini, okay? But the, the past from, it's just different. I don't know. I'm just picking it. Somebody from your past is going to come back. You're going to be like, how the fuck did you get here? I don't want you no more. And then somebody else from your past is going to come back, and you may work it out with them because that is your emperor. And then a brand 